everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will we will talk about the interview questions that was asked in infosys uh, the role was for senior tableau developer like i think after so many days uh, i got this uh, interview scheduled uh, so these days you know i'm not getting much calls uh, even though i'm getting mails that you know uh, openings are available you know your profile is shortlisted and all but nothing concrete is happening after that so i think after uh, so many days this happened so i thought of uh, sharing some questions with you so that you know you can prepare uh, well and you know stay updated in the market so let's get started with the questions here so if you see uh, this is role for senior tableau developer so one thing i would like to add here is whenever you are going for a senior tableau developer role or a senior role the expectation is you will have the understanding of how tableau is working at the back end okay so simply we will we will be able to answer what is filter what is parameter you know what are sets groups okay fine so but how is the architectural you know functioning of tableau with respect to this so this is the expectations from the client whenever you are going for a senior tableau developer so why why is this expectation because you will be in a role where you will be facing the client okay so when you place the client so client might come up with a number of requests requests or a number of requirements so we should be in a state to answer him that okay boss this is possible or this is not possible or there is a better alternative for this so this kind of alternatives we should be able to provide to the customer so we should be able to explain how a tableau works with respect to the uh, you know the requirements that he is giving so that is why that expectation is there so mostly when i say it is infosys or tcs whenever you are going for a role it will be like in a single handed project so you have to take care of all the requirements you have to tell the client what is possible and, uh, and not and then you know develop the reports and do everything so that's why whenever you know you are going for a senior role they will scrutinize you a lot so they will check whether independently you will you be able to handle a project or not so that is the expectation okay so now let's get started so here like you know uh, there were more about architectural questions and you know more about how uh, a particular concept is working in tableau so that kind of questions were more in infosys when i faced so to start off it all started with a very basic and generic question that you know we all face in interview that is tell about yourself again like i always stress about this it is one of the very very important and primary question for everyone who is facing interview tell about yourself so we need to focus on what have we accomplished what were the challenges that we faced in our project and how or how you got your requirements and also you should be covering all of that in your tell about yourself concept and a little overview of like where from where you are coming with uh, and also if you give that overview that is more than enough next is uh, you again specified explain your current project so this is something that is very very important and most of uh, the students sorry or candidates fail here and this is one question where there is a high probability of you know getting a candidate caught if he is a real candidate or a fake candidate so you need to prepare a very perfect story like what have you done in your current project what were the requirement now what are the problems that you are going to solve with this in this project okay and what were the challenges you faced what kind of charts you have created what kind of functions you have used to you know write the calculation so you should explain all of that in your current project which is very important so like i always say prepare a story like a, a picture okay so prepare a picture uh, like a movie and keep it ready so if not for infosys any interview you go 
you can answer this. So like one and two are combined, I would say. Okay, so prepare this story. This will give you confidence because like we write in exams, if you write first answer, very good. We get, you know, confidence to write other answers also. Well. So that's why this is very important for you. And we know that this is a definite question. So that's why prepare well, focus more on this uh, current project concept. Next was how many databases you have worked with. So there are two things that we need to understand here is how many databases you have used and what are the different data sources you have connected to two different questions. One databases like, you know, in our overall experience of IT, I would say, or Tableau, whatever. We might work on different databases. So like Snowflake is one different database. Redshift is one database or uh, MySQL or SQL Server or Oracle. These are all different databases that are available. Okay. And on each, we might get some time to work on, to write the queries, to fetch the queries. It depends like, you know, what database our client is using to store the data. Based on that, we will be working. Next is what are the different data sources you have connected in Tableau? Again, this is something very different. So where your data is residing in Tableau is very important. Okay, so some might use Excel, very basic version of uh, you know, users might use Excel or they might use a SharePoint. Again, this is something that is becoming common understand or learn how we can establish a connection with respect to SharePoint in Tableau. Okay, so this is being asked uh, and uh, Redshift have you connected or all that you need to you know explain what are the different data sources you have connected in Tableau. Next is again one important question, how will you improve the performance of Tableau report? So this is one very, very important question that I think you know many of uh, the companies asked in the interview. So there is a standard guidelines that is you know being shared by Tableau that we must follow when we whenever you know we are implementing. So you can refer to that and you can always you know answer uh, the, from the points that is given. So we can improve the performance at a database level using calculations and the dashboard design. There are three to four important points that we need to focus. So you can work on that. Now, I think in latest version, there is an option where we can optimize or use optimizer option is there. So whenever you go to server, there is an option. I think here in this, it is not there, but I think in latest version, it is there. So now, Again, uh, like he asked me, what are the different rank functions available in Tableau? So uh, rank is again one of the very important functions in Tableau. Not even in Tableau, in SQL also, it is one of the very important, uh, you know, concept rank function, like dense rank is there, unique rank is there, rank is there. Okay, so you should be able to explain what are the different results we might get when with respect to the rank type. So like the base version is like, you know, whenever you have repeated values, suppose same salary is there. So I have 800, 600, 600, 500. So how rank is being generated for generated? You have to explain all of those ranks with respect to some numbers so that end user can, or the interviewer might uh, can understand that you know how this rank function. Okay, so next was how will you create a dashboard to display data for current day? So this is one of the very, you know, uh, typical scenario that we might face as a Tableau developer also. Suppose the report that you have generated is a daily frequency report. Now end user want to see data for every day. So like if report is running today, it should show data for today if it is for tomorrow it should it should be display for tomorrow okay and on the parameter or whatever the date you select it should show today's date only it should not be old date so how will you achieve this was the requirement okay so again in tableau we have a concept called as parameter and in that we have i think in latest versions of tableau we have option like a you know, update parameter or whenever you open a parameter, refer to the latest data and all. So using that, we can achieve this scenario. Okay, so, so you can explain this parameter, how will you do? Like what are the calculation you 
can write like create a uh, parameter of a date type uh, order date is equal to parameter date and uh, basing on that you can write that now again like uh, on the working concept he wanted me to explain how does blending and join work in tableau and how is it different this is difference from sql so basically here we need to explain what is join what are the different types of joins available and what is blending so when does blending come into picture and how is it difference okay again next was how what is the difference between union and union all and how can we do it in sql and tableau so basically he asked me like you know uh, how uh, what are the prerequisites like you know to do a union and a union all and what is this syntax for union and union all and how will we do it in tableau so i was able to explain till here so next is what is your migration checklist how will you migrate reports so this is again very important you know it might come in uh, many different interviews because you know migration is something that we all will do at some point of time as a tableau developer or as a senior tableau developer whatever but you might get a chance to migrate reports from one environment to another environment so while doing so what is the checklist that you followed something that you know everyone wants to know because the process i follow in my organization might be different and the process that you might follow in your organization might be different so that's why the question is basically so main thing that we need to make sure before migrating is we need to make sure that all the tables are you know exactly in sync in all the environments suppose there is a table a that is in dev and the same table should be available in uh, environment b and environment c whatever the environment that you are migrating to suppose table a has 10 columns table uh, in environment b also should have same table with the same column structure or same table structure then only you know your calculations will work and all so often you know we might face this issue like you know some tables are missing in one environment you know some of the columns are not available in ta uh, table and all so when that is suppose there is that kind of situation you need to reach out to database team telling that okay boss see this table is missing or this column is missing from this table please fix that so again the database team at the back end will work on and you know fix that issue so that's why you need to make sure that all the environments are in sync first of all and the data is available in all the environments you need to check that accordingly so that is something that you can talk about checklist migration checklist so next was sql questions again so sql i don't remember much but you know whatever i remember i wrote here so on rank again here he asked me questions on rank here like uh, uh, how to find uh, you know the uh, what are the different types of rank basically and then top second employee he want to write so i think i have already posted one you know video where we have talked about this and then very basic question delete and truncate i think most of us have, have faced at least one time this question delete and truncate so again one important question that is doing rounds uh, you know in interview these days is write sql for all joint ups so if at all he want to test your you know sql ability to join then he will give you one this standard question like you know write a write uh, what you call query for all the join types at once so left join right join full join inner join so using all the four join types you have to write one query like one query in the sense four queries you will write and then what is row over partition so there is a, a function called as rank over partition so sorry i've written row over it is actually rank over partition so i think uh, you know, that's it about uh, this in this video I hope you like it. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe. That's it from my side. Have a good day. Bye-bye.